Right, bubblegum blowing, eh? Here we go. I've been practicing. <laughs> oh, it was dreadful, wasn't it? Here's Sebastian the Incredible Drawing Dog. Oh, dear, 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 Michael. Look how dark the sky is. We must be in for a storm. Yes, yes. Look at that. Isn't it a beauty, eh? I got it in the antique shop down the road. You know, it looks just like the one that old Aladdin found. You know, the one in the, uh, with the, uh, uh, the genie inside. Ah, oh, yes. Just think of that, eh? A genie who would obey my every command. Ah. That's worth a try. I'll give it a rub. Oh, 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 that gave me quite a turn, Michael. Michael? Uh, Michael? Where are you, Michael? Sebastian. Oh, 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 oh. Your wish is my command. Michael, really? Well, that was just for a laugh. Well, it might have been a laugh for you, but it petrified me. Oh. Well, anyway. I command you to tell me a story. I command you to tell me a story. Michael. Um, sorry about that. Look, all that rain outside there, Sebastian, reminds me of water. I've got a story about water. What I find water under? Under sea. <laughs> <sighs> Here we are, the man with big ideas. Are you ready, Seb? Poised, dear boy. Right then, Mr. Merry Bean, in spite of his happy-sounding name, was a very, very sad man. Just look for yourselves. Wait, right. let's look Draw for a sad ourselves. man there. There he, he is. Oh, sadness, sadness. Not oh. too sad. You see, he had been left a great deal of money and he had no need to work. <laughs> well, you can guess how very bored he became. So bored that he could stand it no longer. I must do something. I must, he thought aloud. But what? What? I know. I'll make a list of all the jobs in the world and I'll stick a pin in whichever one the pin touches. That will be the job for me. And what a long list it was. He had to stand on a ladder to reach it. Here he is, standing on a ladder. On a ladder. I can't draw all the list. I'm just going to do the top end. Yeah, don't worry about the list, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. That's it. Finished, he chuckled. And closing his eyes, he stabbed the paper with a pin. What do you think the job was, Sebastian? It was an inventor. Yes, an inventor. Mr. Merrybean was overjoyed. Me, an inventor? He laughed. Mr. Merrybean, the inventor. Sounds most impressive. Most impressive. I must start inventing at once. And he did. He invented a fantastic machine full of wheels, cogs, levers and dials. Let's do it. Let's do it. Couple of cogs, cogs couple of levers, levers, couple of dials. dials. Seven dials. It took months to build, but eventually there it stood in all its glory. Its shiny metal parts polished and gleaming. Mm. I must take it to the man who buys inventions, chuckled Mr. Merrybean. I can't wait. Now, the man who bought inventions was a very pleasant fellow. Ah, I like this. It's like yourself. Oh, thank you. Get off me, please. Artist work. Sorry. There he is, thinking an awful lot. And his feet. I think we'll have pinstripe trousers and some more hair. Back to you. He was extremely impressed by the marvellous machine. First class, he said to Mr. Merrybean. But if you'll forgive me for asking, um, what exactly does it do? Do? Do, cried Mr. Merrybean. Why, it stirs cups of tea. <laughs> See that little trapdoor on the left? Well, an arm comes out with a spoon and stirs cups of tea. Everybody in the country needs one. Needs one of those, gasped the invention buyer. Surely one can stir a cup of tea without that contraption. Go back to your workshop and try something else. Mr. Merrybean was naturally upset. But undaunted, he went back to invent something new. 
Soon he had a brilliant idea. This will be a winner. A winner, he cried. Just what the world's been waiting for. For months he slaved over his new project. At last it was complete. And there oh, You're in you front of me there. Have it. Done it. <laughs> Very good. Finished. Finished, he laughed. I must take it to the invention buyer right away. And he did. Once again, the invention buyer was most impressed. Splendid, splendid, Mr. Merrybean. But uh, if you'll forgive me for asking, what exactly does it do? Do? Do, cried Mr. Merrybean. Why, it stirs cups of coffee. Of course. See that little trap door on the left? Well, an arm comes out with a spoon and stirs cups of coffee. Mm. The invention buyer looked very glum. Poor Mr. Merrybean didn't need to be told. Returning to his workshop, he sobbed. I failed. Oh. I failed. Oh, dear. And there and then he decided to dump both his inventions into the sea. He hired a boat, loaded the two machines, and rowed miles out to sea. And I'm doing him now, yes, rowing out to sea. This is very sad, Poor isn't man. it? Poor man. Poor man. Don't cry on the paper, will you? Well, that's the sea, isn't it? Oh yes. As he eased the machines to the side of the boat, he cried, "I must make them work once more. I must make them work once more. Just once more, I must." And with that, he switched them on. They went. The little spoons turned madly. Then, with one heave, he pushed them over the side. Get ah, over. Splash, splash. Oh, Let's have on. a splash, splash. As they went over to Mr. Merrybean, yelled, Heavens! I forgot to switch them off. Ha! What a donut. They're still turning round and round and round. Well, what could he do about it? Nothing at all. No. As it happens, Mr. Merrybean to this day is still inventing. It keeps him occupied and therefore happy. And in a strange way, he has given the world something very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes. If he hadn't remembered to turn off the machines, we would never have all those lovely ripples on the water at the seaside. Of course! Well, would we? Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Clever story, that, Sebastian. <laughs> you know, all this chat about sea and surf has uh, <clears throat> given me a quite a thirst. Oh, any excuse for a cup of tea. Ah, good man, Michael. <laughs> You know, Sebastian, if this lamp had any magic in it, it'd make the tea for us. A cup of tea, please. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Just for a laugh.